Hi guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot. In this session, we'll go through creating your base accounts, profiles, setting up your emails, and your social bookmarking and RSS accounts. So we click Account Creator. As you can see, you've got a basic template. So we're going to create a new account, create a new account, and call this one Magic tricks one click OK as you can see it's created a set of random data which we can change male or female data click the button and the data changes female same so I choose a male name as you can see the data both is randomized as well on the email settings we can pick from instead of predefined accounts, Gmail, Live.com, AOL, or one of our own accounts. I'm going to choose one of my own accounts. So, email address will be Bob at how to magic. In most cases, the POP3 server will be either mail dot the new domain name or POP3 dot domain name or POP dot. In this case, it's mail dot. Port 995. My user is the same as my email address and my password we can click test settings to test our email settings actually work as you can see this is successful so it's a valid account so let's save our project data and that's our profile created we're going to go through and set up a number of profiles to use for different Web 2.0 properties. Simply choose one from the list, create, create a new one, but I will stay with Magic Tricks 1 for this session. Next, we need to create our social bookmarking accounts. So we create, click on the social bookmarking tab. And as we can see, we've got a number of accounts within this tab that we will create accounts on. So I'll choose two sites as an example to create new accounts on. Know that we can create accounts on as many sites as we want in this list. Click select all to select all of them, select none to select none but I'll choose two in this case. We can also load a previously created set of bookmarking accounts as well. So I've selected two, create accounts. As you can see, the browser window pops up. And the page loads in. As you can see, it fills all the information in and capture breaks. In this case, I don't actually have captures set up, so it's set to manual capture. B O U N F I. Note that we've got the and the capture time, if this times out, the count fails and will have to be retried. Is that one saved? So the next side down.
GSLP. We've created two accounts. It's really that simple. We could go through and create more accounts, but for this example, I'll just create the two accounts. Next, we go to RSS accounts. In the software, we have about 14 RSS directories which we submit our feeds to, and four of these require that you create accounts. What I'll do in this case is I'll set up the capture and I'll set it to auto auto break the capture on the site. So I'll do a select now. Let's select feed agent feed ag. In the settings, I'll set up the capture which I think I've already set up. So I choose use decapture. Once you set up your account, you can test decapture. Successful. We can check the credits left. We see them here. So now we've set auto capture. We go back. We just set feed age. Create account. So you see the site loads in. As you can see at the top, it's auto breaking the capture. Which is decapture can take up to 30 seconds. And if I should watch this box, we'll see it fill the capture in. And submit. And that's the basics of setting up our main account data, social bookmarking, RSS accounts, and our decapture information.